Hi, Steve Fitzjohn, founder of LifeShort. Today we're going to walk through how our Trip Organizer app works. We'll start with an overview of interactive itineraries, then look at setting up a private group, including sharing information and communication. These features are great for things like family trips, traveling with friends, or use within tour businesses. Let's check it out. On screen's the main list view. This is where all the trips and events are managed. You'll see a sample Hawaiian holiday trip. For this walkthrough, I figured it's worth starting with some existing content, so when creating an interactive itinerary from scratch, the context of each feature is understood. Let's start with the trip name. In this case, Hawaii holiday. It's the top level itinerary item and quite important because it connects all the other itinerary items underneath as sub items. This is the first thing you create when building a new trip by pressing the green plus button in the bottom right corner. From here, simply add new items underneath using the new item button. They are automatically displayed in date order. Each itinerary item's details can be opened and closed by pressing its name. When open, a range of functions are available related to each item. Let's start with editing item information. When creating or editing items, the only required input is the name. The trip's feature image, displayed on the list, is also set here, in this case, palm trees and a sunset. You can also upload your own or simply select one from the integrated library. Other information such as dates and times can be set here. Even time zones for destinations you're traveling in. Location information is also set here, which is integrated with both Google mapping and navigation. Single or dual waypoint routes can also be set for each item, allowing for destination only or transit and destination information. Additional information, details or notes for group sharing can also be entered in the description section for each item here. Now let's take a look at booking imports. Imported details can be used from both within an itinerary item or from the centralised library available in the header. This handy automation works by forwarding supplier confirmation emails to go at lifeshort.com. They must be forwarded from the same email address registered on your Lifeshort profile. Emails will then be processed in the cloud, resulting in one or two outputs. The first, which will be available for every email, is a PDF copy of the forwarded email. which can then be used to attach to existing itinerary items or create new ones in a partially automated way. The second is based on whether the content is from a recognised supplier and in a predictable email format. If so, structured data files will be available to create fully automated itinerary items, so no need for typing. This means full trip itineraries can be created very quickly by selecting multiple structured data records together. Now that we've looked at importing bookings into a master itinerary, let's take a look at viewing the whole itinerary in one place, controlling what is on display, and then exporting as a PDF. To access a single view of all the details of the trip, open the top trip item and press itinerary. Now you'll see all the details, including feature images, maps, dates, times, duration, 
expense totals, description notes, everything, all in one place. You'll see some green buttons at the top. These are filters if you don't want to display all the information. You can remove images, routes, maps, time, description and expenses all the way down to a subset of just a text only basic itinerary. This can be particularly useful limiting what's displayed in a PDF export. Another handy feature popular with tour operators and travel businesses is the ability to put your branding and contact details in the header of PDF exports. So when it's time to save a PDF, select the information you want to display, export to a preview PDF and then save to your device. Next we're going to get interactive. Inviting and managing private groups, sharing information and communication through messaging. On screen are views for two different users. Left is using the web app version on a desktop computer, right the native version on a mobile device. We'll start with a new itinerary by cloning the previous Hawaiian holiday. This duplicates any selected trip itinerary details and creates a new one based on a future date. Very handy for annual trips to the same place or tour businesses operating the same routes. Now let's invite participants on the trip as a private group. To automatically invite participants to all items and future items in the itinerary, you must send the invite from the top level item. Otherwise, they'll only be invited to the specific sub-item you send the invite from. This structure provides flexibility to the itinerary owner to invite participants to some items and not others if required. Mobile device contacts can be synced and invites sent by email, SMS or live short username. There's also the option to generate a unique link for the trip and simply share it on existing digital channels, such as messaging, social or email groups. Invitations provide access to review itinerary details for a yes, no or maybe response. Yes and maybe respondees will now have access to the interactive itinerary in live short and become part of the private group. Once a response has been provided, participants can change their response using the Invite section in the draw menu. This is in the top left hand corner. Group members can see these updates. There are up to three roles within a group. Whoever creates the trip is the owner, and all other invitees start as participants. The owner can then upgrade any group participants to co-owners, who will also share the ability to edit any of the itinerary item details. This is useful if multiple people are planning a trip and entering details. Owners and co-owners can also choose to limit functionality participants normally have when sharing information around an itinerary group. This includes removing the ability to attach imports, images and documents, as well as entering expenses. Now let's take a look at messaging. Each itinerary item automatically has its own channel, available by pressing the message icon. From here you can either message the group or privately message someone in the group directly. Let's start with the group message. Group participants will receive a new message notification. Red badges will also be displayed on the item the conversation relates to within the itinerary and on the main messaging center icon in the header. This messaging center is set up to simplify managing all active conversations across all trips in one place. The badge here will also keep a count of unread messages across the whole app. Image and document sharing are also supported in messaging conversations with the option to save to itinerary items or device. Emoji reactions can also be used for fun, quick responses. Each individual itinerary item has its own storage library for saving, viewing, uploading and downloading attachments. This is useful to quickly find information both individually 
and when sharing with groups, such as images, PDF documents, booking imports, expenses and bookmarks. When used within a group, you'll notice small icons appearing next to each item as new information is updated. This helps identify items that have particular content. Red badges also appear when the content remains unread. Budget figures or actual costs can also be added to items individually or shared across a group. Simply select who will or did incur the expense, the currency, amount and any related details. Expense subtotals for each item will be displayed in the list view along with a roll up of the overall itinerary total at the top level item. Each user nominates a default currency in their profile. This is the standardised currency used to display consistent totals across the itinerary. Integrated currency conversion provides indicative amounts for expenses entered not in the user's default currency. A daily spot rate is used to generate these figures. Expense amounts are also automatically added if information is contained in a successful booking import. They can also be edited or removed at any time by the person who entered the expense or the itinerary owner or co-owner. A handy expense splitting calculator is also available for group use in the top level itinerary item. It automatically summarises all expenses entered across the trip by participant name. This is often used before a trip for allocating budgets during planning or splitting costs evenly after a trip. The expense splitter is a calculator only, so inputs are not saved or visible across the group. If output sharing is required, a screenshot can be saved and attached as an image to one of the shared itinerary items or sent in a group messaging thread. Interactive itineraries can often involve detail changes. You'll notice the bell in the top right hand corner. This is an activity feed that contains update history for trips you are participating in. Things like items you have joined, been added to, details that have changed, contacts added, that sort of thing. Latest changes are displayed at the top, grouped by itinerary item. If you currently use an existing calendar app, synchronisation with life short itinerary items is also available. To enable synchronisation, open the draw menu in the top left hand corner and press calendar sync. Access will be requested and, on approval, the calendars available on the device will be displayed. Now select the one you actively use and enable calendar sync. This will automatically include any itinerary items added to Life Short in your device calendar. If you no longer want to sync dates and times, turn off syncing and the option to delete the existing Life Short entries is available. At this stage, calendar syncing is only available on the mobile native version. Well, that's it for now. Hopefully we were able to cover most of the key features for both creating interactive itineraries and sharing and communicating in groups. If you have any further questions or would like to reach out, visit lifeshort.com or send an email to support at lifeshort.com. Thanks for watching and enjoy your next trip.